In this tutorial, we will learn how to animate 2D texture. As you can see, my character eyes and mouth are part of the character texture. To animate eyes and mouth texture, I need to separate corresponding meshes. I can select and detach mesh or I can duplicate and then detach mesh. With each method, I will use separate set of texture. For eyes, I will use just diffuse map and for mouth, I will use diffuse and opacity map. So I detach eyes first and duplicate mouth mesh second. Select the mesh, hold down shift key and drag. Just a bit, not too much. Next, detach mouth mesh from the head and center pivot point to mouth mesh. Next, I need to remove eyes and mouth from main texture. Since I will replace them and animate them with new sets. Now, I need to unwrap UVs again for both meshes. Adjust them and render new maps. So take your time, resize UVs, place them in proper position and then render UV template. To render template, click Tools, Render UV Template, click Render UV Template button and save your template to proper folder. Next, I'll open template in Photoshop and paint different types of eye expressions. After you finish preparing textures, go back to 3D Studio Max, collapse unwrap UV modifiers and prepare materials for animation. Hit M on the keyboard, choose empty slot and turn on show shaded materials in viewport. Next, change material from standard to multi sub Object. Click OK, keep old materials as sub materials and click OK again. Select first slot and navigate to first texture. Then click go back to parent button and make sure that show standard materials in viewport is on. Next name your material and click go back to parent button again. Please provide proper name for each ID. It will make animation process smoother. Instead creating new material, you can copy first one, change ID name and replace existing texture with the new. Then change material name and go back to the parent. Repeat the process for your other textures. After you finish loading all your textures, go to modifier list and set material modifier. This will give you properties to control and animate material IDs. Now I can apply material to my character eyes mesh and by changing ID, I can swap textures. Next, I'll repeat UV mapping and template rendering process on the character mouth. Again, take your time, make proper adjustments, render your texture template and open it in Photoshop. This time you need to create two sets of textures, diffuse and opacity maps, because you are placing them on the copy of the mouth mesh. So again, go back to 3D Studio Max, collapse UV modifier, hit M for material, and prepare new material for the character mouth. Use multi sub object shader again. The only difference between eyes and mouth is opacity map. Instead creating new material, you can copy first one, change ID name and replace diffuse and opacity map. 
After you finish loading all your textures, go to Modifier list and set Material Modifier. Again, click and drag Material to Character Mouth. My character is rigged, so before I start animating eyes and mouth, I need to apply Skin Modifier to them, so they stay attached to character head as the rest of the body is moving. Before you start animating, select Material Modifier and set up New Key Tangent. Next go to Key Filters, select Modifiers because you will animate it and then deselect other options. Now you are ready to animate. Set key mode, choose ID and click set key button. Move few frames away and repeat the process for both mouth and eyes. To achieve smooth animation and transition, you need to create more textures. So here is short walk cycle where I have combined biped and texture animations. Thank you for watching and good luck.